together for a whole life and for our own life and the rest. We are here to listen again to some of the great words of Christian peace and to renew our whole trust in God and in the word of his son Jesus Christ for saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Therefore, notwithstanding this calamity at this moment, but in full trust and hope for the eternal life in eternity. Let us praise God today with joyful hearts as I now declare this service is now open. Oh, let us pray. Eternal Father, who by thy mighty power had the death rise of thy Son Jesus Christ from the dead, strengthen us now by thy Holy Spirit, be a comforter, help us to worship thee with reverence and submitted heart, and to put our whole trust and wisdom in thy perfect love. Bless to us the reading of the word of eternal life that by thy steadfastness and by thy encouragement of thy scriptures, we may have hope and be lifted above our darknesses and distress into life and peace of thy presence through Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Father, your love is stronger than death, and you are the being brought to life. Help us as we put our promises and believe in them to receive the comforter that we are for You are the giver of hope. Fill us with thy joy and thy peace in believing, so that we may have it by Holy Spirit, be glory to you, our God, and Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Bless the Lord. Peasants, good morning to my senior bishop and to the household of faith. We welcome you today as we are here to pay our last respect and to celebrate the life of our dear mother Brown this morning. We we'll go straight to our program sheet. The opening prayer will be done by Iona John, her sister. Eternal and ever wise master. We adore you this evening, dear God. Most of all, dear Father, we thank you for all what you have done unto my sister and others, dear God. As we gather here this evening, dear Father, may you let everything have, you have done be done in your name. To the dear God, bless the minister, dear God. Bless those, all those who attend the funeral of Jesus. Give us the strength, give us the courage, dear Father, in no other name but in Jesus, worthy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and all our taxes in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As we confess, we repeat, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, suffered of the Pontius Pilate, who was crucified and buried. He said, in the name of God, he was again from the dead. And send it into the midst of your God and God Almighty. For men shall come to judge the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit of the Church. Come in the name of the Holy Spirit of the Church. Your church shall be in the light of the last name. Amen. The Lord, we give God thanks and we give Him praise. We are here to celebrate our life. So we pay them in joy for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And for those of us who knew Mother Brown, she was a joyful woman. She was a woman who loved singing. Yes. And sometimes, yes. even though she don't know this song in the correct way, she yes. sings instead. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. And she always rejoices. Yes. And we are here today. We are not oh, here yes. to moan because we have hope. Yes. I don't know about you, but I have hope. Yes. 
And I know she's in a better place. Bless the name of the Lord. A place where there is no pain. No heartache. Oh yes. A place where she is at rest. She don't have to worry anymore. Bless the name of the Lord. So we are here today to rejoice and be glad. Bless the name of the Lord. Our first congregational hymn to all the changing scenes of life in trouble and in joy. To all the
thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to pay a tribute to my dear sister. A tribute is understood to mean something good that is said or given to a special person. Someone who was held in high esteem. And so I'm delighted to be here to tell you a little of my sister because I can go on and on and on and on. But the weather is somewhat inclement and would not allow us to go out the whole day. So let us be reasonable. Yes. And I want to tell you something that your service so far has been very lively yes, and very encouraging. Yes, it's the kind of service my sister would have enjoyed. Yes. Of course, yes. of course. She liked music. Yes. She liked singing. Yes. And she was delighted yes. in doing that. So thank you very much once more. And let me proceed that it must be said that physical death is not eternal. It, not, it does not bring an end to humanity. Physical death can make you qualified or be fit for the kingdom of God. For example, if you look at Hebrews 9 and 27, as it, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So something happens after this? The judgment. And it, it is clearly telling us that death is not democratic. Kelly opposed to certain people. Death is democratic. All men, whether you're rich or poor, educated or not. All men die. Yes. And you can cite examples right where you are. You can pick point or mention somebody. Well, a big shot. And now he's not, not here. But I will not tell you about others lest you become fearful. And you start to ask the question who next? <laughs> no. But some things about my sister impressed me tremendously. And I'm quite certain that you are similarly open to it. She was one, a very quiet person, very loving, and she was very compassionate. She was not given with much of these world's goods, but whatever she had, she would not see you suffer. She did not like to see people suffer. No. Whether her children or not. And that was very highly commendable. And we must be encouraged by how she lived and do likewise. In addition to that, she was a very good mother. She trained her children and she took her example and was teaching from Proverbs 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, so that when he's old, he will not depart from it. So look at the stages. Mother Brown was a very wise woman. Look, train up. So training starts from the time the child is done. When she's creeping, up. And train him up to go by the wrong shop. No. You don't want him to go there, so you're training in order to avoid places that you don't like. Or places that would not bring glory to God. So that was very highly commendable. The man in which she trained her children. Trained them up in the way they should go. So training was not only initial, it was directional. Train them up, not down. Isn't that so? Yes, Not down at all. Or train them up in the way they should go. And when and it should make make it a habit. Yes. And if time had allowed me, perhaps we can look at some passages which would show you that the training should be habitual. Yes. 
continual too. So that in the long run, you would gain the approval of the Almighty. So in the way it should go. And Mother Brown did a good job at training her children. I, I was very proud when I heard recently that one child won a scholarship to Mexico. And he stuck somewhere now because of COVID. Left in a desperate dash to get home to see his mother, whom he loved, but could not get here. He's tied up some in some country, trying to get out under this COVID restrictions. Did not allow him to catch a fight. Anyhow, I can imagine how he's mourning and weeping wherever he is. But that child now speaks Spanish fluently and is a teacher of English in Mexico. What an amazing fun this woman. Loved her and he cared for her. And she was perhaps very greatly saddened by the fact that she could not see him in the last hour. But that is not the only thing that excited me about a good training, especially the educational aspect of it. Her grandchild just not two years ago got first class honors from the University of the West Indies. Her grandchild top everybody. You think that's easy? A mother brown. No one she was proud that she can go home now. Because these things she has seen what she labored for. So we tell me we congratulate you as well. I'm quite certain that your uncle, many of you don't know your uncles. They lived in England. Big men. Doing serious jobs for some other country. But just for the benefit of the children who did not know them. Because they lived abroad while they were growing up. And I mentioned now one by the name of Donald Brown. Where is he? Oh, he got. Now, this is the first black man to be a major in the British Army. Look at me. In your presence. In the flesh. Look at me here. Who will sit in close to his lovely wife? But he, he, he loves beauty. And, and he, he did not go far away. But similarly, there's Melvin. Sonny Brock. Where's Sonny? Oh, look at the little boy. Did you? But that girl, that man you see there, is one of the greatest exceptions that this country has produced. You have heard of geese, the geese shipping line. Geese used to come here take our bananas and carry them to where? To England. But the boats were usually empty coming down, but that man loaded them. So they broke. But not only goods for St. Vincent, but he had customers in Australia, in India, in America, all over the place. And look at him, he is in this house, in this temple. So we congratulate you. Great. There are other things which I can mention, but time will not allow me to do that. Now, so one, Mother Brown was a very good mother. Yes. She trained her children properly in the way they should go. And she provided for them. And she loved them. She didn't, she didn't say, I love you, but she demonstrated her love Jesus. to them. Sometimes we say things we don't mean, not mother of us. She would show it. 
she would show you that she loves you, that she cares for you, and that you can be the best person in the community. A great woman. And I'm quite, and these brothers would support me in saying these things. That these are observations which we have made over the years. And Donald himself is a very, a very good teacher. You think he is a very good teacher? Taught a lot of us. Went to Eglin and taught them up there too. But then, home sweet home. There's no place like home. And he came back. He's here. Got a beautiful woman. Got married and now he lives happily. It's a blessing. But ladies and gentlemen, I can go on and on. But it is reasonable for me to stop at this point. If you have any more things to ask, you can check me later. Yes. Lord, and there we have a lot. Amen. If there is any other person who would like to give a short tribute, you can do so now. Morning, everybody. Some love to sing, some love to sing. Jerusalem. by working at the clinic as a community health aide and Brown visiting the clinic. Brown ha has a humble personality. Yes. She was a person who loved. She loved people. Yeah. And Amen. many yeah. times we chat. When something bothers her, she will come and she will say, no, say come here. I want to talk to you. But you're not to tell nobody anything, you know. I went to put something to you. Mind you, I must say this. Brown was not a woman who loved commerce. She don't
don't talk coming. So True. if she come to you with a problem, that means she trusts you. Yes. And she depend on you yes. to help her solve the problem. Yes. And that was that was wrong. And we will chat. She was a member of the diabetic hypertensive support group. And there are times when we go out on different trips and things. I will say, bro, you think you can make it? How you mean? Me have family go help me now. Me just have to go to them. Tell bro, me family now. Tell bro, me family. Me just have to go tell him. And me go get me passage and everything. She did believe in family. She was a family girl. With a, with a smile, she always carry a smile on her lip and she keep going. I don't want to prolong, I did wrote something here, but because of time. But I just want to say this, when I heard Brown took sick and was in the hospital, I went to visit Brown. And when I went in the hospital to see Brown, we chat. And after chatting, she told me exactly what was happening. Then she said, me not worry enough, me not worry. So not bother yourself. Then when she was discharged and get back home, I visit her at home. And approaching the, 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 the steps going up, I heard this singing. I know where I am going. I know. I know. So I went in the room and I start speaking to Bro. And we sing and start speaking to her. But while I was speaking to her, I saw something. Most of you will not understand, but I saw someone there with her, with a head tie in their hand and a vial in their hand. So I simply said, Brown, you have a visitor. Yes. And then I heard somebody start singing, Watchman standing and sighing.
I had planned to go back and visit her, but I did not get the chance because I myself am not well. I'm a sick person. But I was home and I heard that she passed. Monday, Monday morning, last Monday morning, I usually wake up like, say, 2 o'clock. My body wakes me up, and that's the time I commune with my God. My God. And while I was there, lying on my back, I doze away. And I had this vision where I heard a singing. And the singing was getting louder and louder. And when I looked, I saw a procession coming. There is a Lord. That procession, everybody who was in that procession was in white, pure white. The males in front, they were leaders. But when I looked good, there was somebody leading the procession. I did not see the face, but the hand. And the pulse was, and when I look, when I listen good, the song they were singing, the song they were singing, Sister June. Here today. 
Death is a sure thing. Yes. We have to die. Yes. But it's not how we start. Oh. It's how we end. Oh. Hallelujah. Those of you who do not know God. Those of you who do not know God, I do not want to do the preacher walk here this afternoon. It is time for you to get your, your right with God. Seek guidance from God. Get it right with Him. Cry out to Him and ask Him to have mercy. Those of you who are in the church, be humble like bro. Oh, yes. Amen. Be humble like bro. Yes. So echo, Stop echo. the church. Yes. Stop the church. Yes. Yes. And your duty is to lead people to the foot of the cross. I thank you. I thank you for listening to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Yes. Uh, Mr. Brown, our president, good afternoon to the baby family. Yes. You cannot be careless. The members, loved ones, good afternoon. I stand here this morning to say a little about Mother Brown. Yes. Mother Brown, who I know so well. So good. Hallelujah. Because this church is where Mother Brown go in spirit. Yes. And I could say this morning when Mother Brown was inside that room, she could not even do the things that she wanted. But when the spirit operates upon Mother Brown, yes, she's speaking tongues. Mm -hmm. Hello, you did. Mm -hmm. And I hear when she said, praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. I could raise my hand. Yes. I could hold this thing. And I know today, the woman, she was a woman of God. Yes. Oh God hallelujah. And from that time to now, yes. Mother Brown fighting for the Lord Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. And I know Mother Brown fight a good fight with all her might. Yes. Sometimes, as my dear sister said, sometimes little things come across. Her. Yes. And when little things come across, you sometimes you want somebody to exchange ideas. But I could say blessing on that woman. Blessing. Blessing on that woman today. Because it's not an easy rule. It's not an easy fight. That mother brown fight. Hallelujah. And I could say today to God, be the glory. Great things he has done. So love in a world that he gave his son. Oh, yes. He let a life and a grown man from sin. And open that life there. That's all. May God open. And I know Jesus opened that life gate for my mother. I know today Mother Brown never be discouraged. Sometimes she come and she speak to me and when she speak to me, I tell her, I say, trust in the Lord. I say, God is able to do great things for you. But nobody knows what I am telling her. But I know. And she knows. Yes. And today, I could say, her hope is built and nothing less. But Jesus' blood and righteousness. I know this man, she does not trust the sweetest frame. Hallelujah. She holy lean and Jesus. Because when she come and she say Jesus, she mean it from the foundation that she has. Yes. And when sometimes she come and she tell me, say, Mother, I just pray. Say, I just pray. I just pray. I say, yes, pray. And God is here. And the day when she takes it, she come up here. She went to the shop, and when she went to the shop, she come back, and she sit with me, and she was speaking to me. She said, oh. she's not feeling well, and the doctor says something happened to see, and she have to go to the lab. She said, all right, come up in the morning, and I will do something to you. And she come up. And she go by the doctor. When she go to the doctor, she called to me. That the nurse called to me. In every occasion, she always put me first. Yes. Because she know because who I am. I am not a go tell her. Yes. I am not a go give her. But I keep everything to myself. And when she called the nurse called to me, I went to. I said, Mother, I'm going to the hospital. She said, going to the hospital, yes. And I pray with her. And after I preach, pray with her. I said, I, want, I myself not feeling good. So I'm going home. 
And to you, my beloved one, I didn't see her again. That was the last chapter mentioned. But on the phone, I speak to her, I pray with her again, and I know Mother Brown is a child of God. Yes. No matter whether I wall me say about Mother Brown today, I know she and she heart will praise her God. Yes. And this morning, I am thankful for Mother Brown. Yes. I am thankful for Mother Brown because she, as mother, my dear sister said, she saw the lighthouse. And I know Mother Brown saw the lighthouse because when you speak to her, she always tell you, she believe and God is good. So this morning, I want everybody to be on the Lord's side. Yes. Yes. Let us all trust in the Lord. Let us not do learn our understanding. Because many will say this and many will say that. But under our heart, we are our heart, we yes. praise our God. So let us all watch and pray. And keep pressing on to the high calling. And I know my sister, my mother, press on. She pressed on this morning to that high calling. So may God ever bless us all and keep us in Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. Bless the Lord. This morning, I'm going to, this afternoon, I'm going to sing a song for my sister. My sister was a wonderful mother. Hallelujah. Yeah. I live in up Georgetown and she will come by me, spend a weekend. And I tell you, at night, Mother Brown have a bedroom for herself and the spirit. Mother Brown will mature that floor and she will sing and she will dance. When I go inside it, I say, Brown, take a rest now. She said, no, the spirit is with me, baby. Hallelujah. Amen. You all hearing me? Yes. Yes. She said the spirit is with me. But I wouldn't take it too long. But Mr. Brown, your sister always gave you a good name. She always talk about you. Whenever she come by me in Georgetown, she always talk about you. And mother, what the other mother did? Mother Samuel. She always tell me about you. Sometimes she, she used to say, Miss John, let me go down by Mother Samuel now. Me I always have to push up. They say, next week, when you come, but you will never end. Oh, How do you Praise the name of the Lord. So church, she always speak about our church family. And I hope in and trust in the spirit she leave here, you all will carry it on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to sing a song for her. Just the word, listen to the word. Precious Savior, thou hast given me thine and only thine I am. Oh, the cleansing blood has given me glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, 
sister I sing a song. It was a song that when we visit when we visited her when she was sick on the bed, it was a song that she had raised for herself and I would like to sing it here this evening.
scripture reading which will be taken from Psalms 90 from verse 1 to 12 by Judith Brown daughter. First scripture reading. Good afternoon everyone. The reading is taken from Psalms chapter 91. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in our generation before the mountain was brought forth. However, you have formed the earth and the world. O everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortal, or a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away, they are like a dream like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourish and it's renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger. By your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sin in the light of your countenance. For our days pass away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sun. The days of our life are 70 years or perhaps 80. If we are strong, even then their span is only toil and struggle. They are soon gone and we fly away. Who consider the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is doing you. So teach us to come to our days that we may gain a wise heart. This is the word of God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the nation of Amen. We are going to be blessed by a song, a special song by the Odin daughter. I must have been good afternoon to everyone. Before I start to sing my song, I must tell it about my mother because since I know my mother growing up, she brought me up into this body and I never see her go to the dance hall. She never take me to nowhere than in this church. And I want to give her God all the thanks and all the blessing for the life she lived because she never taught me how to go out on the street. But she always taught me to be in church. She said, we must go to church, don't come what matter our way. When a sorrow come pain, no matter what the destruction is in our way, we must always believe in God and serve God. You can say there's no other one but what him alone we can call upon. When we are in distress, we must call upon him. When we are weak, we call upon him. In everything we do, he should teach us to live a good life. And I know with God's grace and his help and his mercy, I'm asking him to take me through this life of trouble today because you know today this world has nothing to give up but shame and disgrace. I'm asking him to help to carry on my mother's legacy where she left her. If no one else do it, I want to do it for her. Because since I know myself, she bring me up in here and I want to carry on where she left her from. And I have to say this so for her this morning. You've been in the storm, it seems like forever, in your night of confusion, you've been waiting so long, your ship have lost anchor, and the storm Father. 
inherit the imperishable. Listen, I will tell you mystery. We will not all die, but we, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the dead, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable 
and we shall be changed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, what it all said. Amen. Now we're going to have the eulogy, and it will be done by Anita Neverson and Tamara Jackson, daughter and granddaughter. But I will not try to do this thing. Saying goodbye to my mom today is one of the hardest things I ever had to do. I am Anita, her daughter, and on behalf of the rest of the family, we would like to thank you all for being here today to celebrate the life of my mother. Today we are celebrate, we are honoring, celebrating, and remembering my mom. Miss Millicent Dulcina Brown. She was a woman of grace and courage and with a little stubbornness. When she would set her mind on doing something, no one could talk her out of it. She stood up for what she believed in. She was born to her late parents, Miss Virginia Richard of Georgetown and Mr. Cyril Honest Theodore Brown. She later migrated to Lacroix in 1971 due to the volcanic eruption, never returning to her place of birth and stay here until the day of her death. My mother produced eight children, including Stanley and Annette, who have long passed, Judith Madison and Sandra Brown, who, are reside, who reside in Antigua and are here with us today to celebrate the life of our late mother. William and Michael, who are situated in Mexico, and Antigua, respectively, were unable to make it, but send their regards. Send their regards. Wilma and I reside here and were her caretaker along with her granddaughter, Mistress Tamara Jackson. My mother spent the majority of her life walking in the fields and looking after animals such as cattle and goats. She was a hard-working and caring individual forever passionate helping others in needs. My mother placed a high interest in her children getting a some education. As she, as she strongly believed, education is the only way out of poverty. Yeah. One thing that stuck with, her, with me was when I did not want to attend school anymore and when demonstrated this by being disrespectful to my teacher. My mother response to the teacher was, if she not here, Bush she back. <laughs> I guess I guess she did not mean it the way she said it. But to her, that was some form of discipline. As she believed teachers should be respected. I also recall when my brother William, who was in grade five, did not want to go to school because his friend was not going, she would get herself ready to take William to school, saying, William boy, school be going. She would walk him all the way to school and she did this both morning and evening. <laughs> I also remember her saying, well done boy, no lame excuse for not being in school. And I guess this is what making the person that he is clear. Mm -hmm. She was very crucial in regards to education. She don't jokes. I will not have done justice to my mother, and I know she will not be pleased if I do not mention the best side of her. My mother loved God and encouraged not only her children, but others to do so. Her encouragement brought me to this church. She was a very spiritual woman, rooted and grounded in the things of God. Her unwavering love for God was demonstrated by her daily prayer and supplication. It did, it did not matter the time of the day, whether it rained or sunny, whether good or bad, in sickness and in health, it does not matter. The situation, she was unstoppable. Her prayer would wake me in the morning and accompany me to sleep at night. She was a prayer warrior 
When she pray, she root up Zion. She believe in prayer. She believe in prayer changes all things. And make even dead bones come to life. In the wind of the morning and in the dead of night, between sleep and wake, I could hear my mother praying. Sometimes I wonder, this woman has sleep. <laughs> Through all her pain and suffering, I have never heard my mother spoke as calling word to God. During her short term of ill turmoil, nothing pleases her more than whenever someone came to visit her and sing, pray, or read a scripture. Sometimes she would request of them to do so. She may not have any acolyte or fame to her name, but according to the life that she lived, I am uttermostly certain she is in a better place. So may the word of John 11, 25 to 26, and I quote, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes shall never die. Be our comfort until we meet again, our beloved mother and friend, Miss Millicent Dulcina Brown, a.k.a. Miss Brown, our mother Brown, may your precious soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Millicent Brown was my grandmother and mother. She nurtured me from a tender age into the woman I am today. Although I cannot recall my youngest years, persons who knew us always expressed to me her incredible love and devotion in caring for me in the absence of my mother. From my first steps to different schools, motherhood and marriage, she has been present to every milestone in my life. I can recall how she would carry me on her back, literally, to school and when I was ill. She traveled with me everywhere she went because she simply did not trust the ability of others to care for me the way she did. To those unknowing, I was a child and she was my mother. She always encouraged me to focus and pursue my studies. I never missed a day of school, even when I was ill, because unless I was dying, my schoolwork was just way too important. I recall the afternoons in secondary school when my classes would end at 4 p.m. and she would be in Mexico waiting for me at 3.30 p.m. Bear in mind, at this time, I was already in Form 5. It irritated me so much because whenever I found myself somewhere I was not supposed to be, she always seemed to be able to find me. One afternoon after school, I attended an event in town without permission. While at the bus stop, I looked behind me. All I saw were eyes filled with rage and possibly death staring back at me. Millicent was right behind me. She started cursing and said, get in the bus. Trust me, I've never moved so quickly in my life. My friends always found it humorous, but I died of embarrassment each time. Today, looking back, I have utmost gratitude for all the times I was not allowed my own way, as I'm certain I will not be the woman I am today. Our relationship was far from perfect. We had many differences and disagreements, but she loved me just as dearly as I loved her. Admittedly, I was such a miserable teenager, but rather than condemning me when I made my mistakes, she always encouraged and saw the absolute best in me. Nothing I did or anything people said could have tarnished her perfect image of me. She is honestly one of the most caring, nurturing, and giving persons I knew. It was impossible for her to hold a grudge. So regardless of whatever differences she had with you, you could always call on her for support and her assistance was guaranteed once she could. Whenever you are ill, you'll have to chase her away from your bedside because she will ask a million questions to ensure that you were getting better. Her unwavering trust in God was remarkable and she always encouraged those around her to devote their life to Christ. Her mornings began in prayers and her nights ended in prayer. In the midst of excruciating pain, she found the energy to cry out to God and he ensured that she did not suffer for long. Melissa was strong and resilient. Despite her hardships and struggles over the years, she persevered and provided the best life she could for herself and her family. She never allowed bad experiences to diminish her hope 
to diminish her hope or diminish her positive outlook on life. As nice as she was, she could not be manipulated easily. She knew how to defend herself and she always let people know exactly what was on her mind. Despite her age, she was young at heart. She loved dressing up, giving relationship advice, and most importantly, she loved keeping up with Facebook. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful I got the opportunity to care for her in her last days, the way she cared for me throughout my life. Even in all her pain, she managed to place my well-being above hers. I recall one night I was, abrupt, I was abruptly awakened from her moans as I thought she was calling for my assistance. When I went to assist, despite her tears, she said, Tommy, I'm not calling you. You go back to bed and get some sleep. I know it's hard on you. That was the kind of woman she was. Selfless and always putting the needs of others above her own. If that is not genuine love, I don't know what is. Apart from her presence, I miss her annoying me the most. We were so different in that I'm usually always quiet and she's usually always noisy. As her family would recall, she would play her radio so loud, you could not hear yourself think, nor even sleep. But the dead silence is almost unbearable now. What I would give to hear that radio one last time, or to have one last conversation with her. Although her departure has left an immense void in my heart, I'm happy she is no longer suffering in pain. She is resting peacefully in the hands of the Lord. I sleep comfortably knowing she is looking over me and she will always guide and protect me. If I can be quarter of the woman she was, I'll be a remarkable woman. Rest on, mommy, until we meet again. Love you. I just want, I don't know if I put a mouth to sell it or thing, but I went, just want to see a little song because while I was walking a rock so when my mother may be taking her last breath, this song was on my mind. If you don't see me, don't come searching. If you're not here from me, I'll be gone. And if you're not see me, don't come knocking at me, though. I'll be gone in a spring rain of a If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know that where thou 
we know whether or not Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where thou go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world has given, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This is the end of the scripture reading. Thanks be to God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it shall be, walk it out in. Amen. We now we're going to have a special by the church choir. <laughs> a holy and beautiful city whose builder and ruler is God John saw it descending from heaven when Patmos in exile he trod its high massive wall is of jasper the city itself is pure gold Love 
ones that gather in yonder. My friends too are passing away, and soon I shall join their bright number and dwell in eternity's day. They're safe now in glory with Jesus. Their trials and battles are past. They overcome sin and the tempter. They reach the fair city at last. In the bright city, shall join their bright number and dwell in eternity's day. They're saved now in glory with Jesus. Their trials and battles are past. They overcome sin and the tempter. They reach the fair city at last. In the bright city, jump out in the middle, we jump out three quarters of the way, 
And some of us, we tend to give up. But I can say to you today, Mother Brown, hold her faith to the end. I was right there at her bedside when she passed. Myself and Mother Shanta and Sister Cathy and her dear old little Timberley was there. And when I get there, Mother Brown was lying. And she had her eyes closed. And I also got this set because Sister Karen, she was calling for me. And when I get there, I said, Mother Brown, Reverend is here. And she opened her eyes and she smiled and she shake her head at me. And I said it again. And she watched me and she smiled and she shake her head. And I said, farewell. And I anointed her for her crossover. And I had the opportunity of giving her that last sip of water. Because from the moment that I get there, I know Mother Brown is leaving. And when I finished anointing her, you know, I began to speak with her, made her farewell. Her granddaughter, Tamara, was there and also carrier. And I began to smooth her stomach like this. But I know she was passing. But yet I, I still keep on smoothing her stomach. And I can tell you the very moment her breath was taken. But I didn't say anything at the moment. I, I look at my sister and I know they know what I mean. And then after a while I said to Tamara, I said, you're strong? And she said, yes. I said, Granny passed a while ago. That's the name of the Lord. So I can tell you she went off so peacefully. Yes. I said peacefully. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. When Christ is in your vessel, it doesn't matter what comes upon you. You can be able to smile at the storm. Only if you have Christ within your vessel. We reach at the junction here now where we are going to bring the man of God to speak to you. And I pray as God inspire him to bring forth his message that he will give a listening ear. And I pray that the words, not his words, but the words from Almighty God, whatever it lays upon his heart to say, that he may be able to bless your heart. And he may be able to leave this place, not because it's a funeral service, but when you leave, you can say, it's good for me to be here. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Heed to the word of God. Yes. So now, I present to you the man of God, our senior bishop, Thank you very much. This evening, a blessing evening to the living family, relatives, and friends. Help the voice of Jesus Christ.
But you must do it in Jesus' name. Because there is no other means, no other way that men can be saved but by the name of Jesus. Today, grace be unto you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, the soon coming King. I am Bishop Brown from Array of the Mount Sinai Spiritual Baptist Church. I give God the praise and thanks that I am still here today. You know, many of my elders passed. I'm still here because God, the Lord, the God of heaven, have me here for his own purpose. No the purpose is right and fast and fully in every hour. The boy may have a bitter taste for sweet shall be found. So this evening, to the belief of any, you know, I never glanced again um, until I got to go up for the ground. To, you know, again in the Lord, hallelujah. So look. Give God a praise and all the family. Myself is a God. Amen. So we must be familiar to Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And to the wife of Mr. Mr. Brown. Amen. Greeting to all the Browns. Amen. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes. And so today, the family that prays together, yes. she stays together. Yes. Amen. Yes. So today, brother Ray, as I listen to the words from all our speakers, the tribute that has been paid and the all that has been said about this woman, Millicent Dancing Never. I know in the early years I was in this church. I got to be a deacon in this church because somewhere I went. Bishop Samuel, and then grew so much in the church. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. We took a lot of our brothers here in the church. Canaan to pitch. Then we get on to meet with as Bishop of Simon, Mother Rata, and Mother Samuel is still here too. Thank God for you, Mother Samuel. Bless the Lord. And the Lord bless. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Amen, hallelujah. And to know our young women and our deaconess and the whole church. Today, as we are here today to celebrate the life and works of our dear beloved sister. As we read in the book of the Epistle, as it tells in Corinthians, now this I say, brother me. That flesh and blood cannot enter and inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do it corruption inherit corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. It reminds me of Jesus and his disciples. Lazarus is asleep, but let I go to wake him. So death is a slave, amen. He spoke about his death, but his disciples think that he was just taking a rest. Then yes. afterward, you say, plainly, Lazarus is dead. But I am glad in your intent that I am not dead. Bless the name of the Lord. I want to say, brethren, that death is just a sleep. Amen. When Lazarus was sleeping, Jesus said, I go to wake him. But according, as the scripture tells us, Mary, when she was there, said, Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. Because Mary and Martha and Lazarus, they loved Jesus. As the home where Jesus was to abode. Amen. Because you never said, your friend Lazarus. He's dead. Jesus said, he is not dead. He just sleeping. Because when Jesus spoke to Mary, 
He said, Mary, your brother shall rise again. We have said, Lord, I know at the resurrection of the last day, he will be. She said, no. I am the resurrection and the life. Bless the Lord. He didn't speak just so. He speak with power. Because he was poor. He speak about and it was different from the Jews and the Pharisees. Because he was commanded by the Father to do his will. And so he speak, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever live, amen. Whosoever live and believe in me shall never die. That is my hope. Who will bless the name of the Lord? That is Christian hope. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. If we believe in Jesus Christ, we are not But we are just waiting. We are just waiting for the final. We are just sleeping. Bless the name of the Lord. And so for the ring today. Let us today as Christians put on the whole armor to fight against the wealth of the devil. Because the devil is a liar. I said he dealt with a trigger. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. But you have to be shield. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You have to have the helmet of salvation. You have to have a sword, which is a spirit, to wrestle against it. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shield yourself. Put on your spirit. Because they will always fight at you. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. But the helmet of salvation, bless the name of the Lord. Lord. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last come, for the come shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in group, and shall change. For the corrupt must put on the corruption. And this mountain, hallelujah must be born mortality. So when the corruption shall have put on in corruption. Amen. 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 And the mortal put on mortality, then shall it brought to pass the same that is written. Death is followed up in victory. Oh death. Where is the sting? Oh praise. There is thy victory, the sting of sin is dead, and the strength of sin is the law. But thank be to God. I said, thank be to God. I said, thank be to God, who gave us this victory to Jesus Christ of the Lord. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. The we were ready to do it. I said, well, let me give up this. But thank God. Hallelujah, the Baptist. Yeah. Amen. That's the name of the Lord. Yeah. I can say to you, I was a Catholic. Amen. 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 I go to the Catholic people. Take me before I'm a Catholic. Why don't you hold it? Amen. But my God called me. I said, my God called me. And made me today a Baptist. A spiritual Baptist. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. To do the work, to go and work the nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bless the name of the Lord. I say, bless the name of the Lord. I can say today, bless the day when God called me out from darkness to light. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I was still in the spiritual markets in the Catholic, and I was still doing things. It's all like two God words. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But thank God when He brought me out of darkness into light. Tell me, let your light shine, that men may see your good work and glorify the Father in heaven. Today I cannot follow after all. Not for money, not for price. Not for wealth. When you're wrong, you're wrong. When you're right, you're right. Righteousness is the son to I say, righteousness, let the nation. But sin is a reproach. Bless the Lord. Speak Lord. Sin is a reproach. 
we have to know whom God is all. We saw a true and living God. Amen, hallelujah. I say amen, hallelujah. Because you tell me, all power is given unto me, go into all the world and preach the gospel. To them that believe and be baptized shall be saved. Amen. There's no other way. I said, there's no other way. Because the very Bible tell me, what does it happen a man to pay this gold and to lose probably oh, higher? But his riches, your riches will soon pass. Melt away. But there is nothing. Job saw it, Job said, naked I come, and naked I shall return. The Lord came, and the Lord take it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Make your choice today. Give up holding up on the wall. Look to Jesus. Yes. The only means of salvation. Yes. I want to say to the brethren, as you hear the ladies here, we all got to part one day. Brother got to part, sister got to part, loved one got to part, friends got to part. And it's for me today that we might be able to look to Jesus. Remember that this is God us. Let not your heart be troubled. So many things we have trouble. We trouble because we can't get our family down here to get up here. We have trouble getting our wealth. Amen. 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 Hard trouble for possession. And that is what men fight it for today. For possession. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, but where my possession lies. Amen. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I say bless the name of the Lord. Yes, where your treasure is. Yes. Where your heart should be also. Yes. So if you lay up treasure down here, your heart will be down here. Yes. But if you lay up treasure beyond that, your heart will be in heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today for the week,
from every tongue, from every tribe, from every people, they were standing before the throne. And before the Lamb, they were clothed in white robes, and they with cards in their hands. Bless the name of the Lord. Crying unto us with a loud voice, salvation. Salvation. I said, salvation belongeth unto God. Amen. Yeah, one of the elders get up and they can say, Who are these? Here the Lord in white. Oh, my sister say when he came up here to tell about it, he said he saw a multitude. We were in white robe. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Your robe must be white. The world must be clean. Amen. Hallelujah. Lay aside the garment that is stained with sin and wash in the blood of the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. These are those who came out from great tribulation. It's not easy to go to in this world as a Christian. Amen. But you've got to fight the fight. You have to run the race like Brother Paul. But Paul said, I fight the fight, I kept the faith, and I run the race. And now they look for me a crown. But not for me only, for all those who put me in appearance. These are they who have washed the road. Therefore, are there before the throne of God, someday, before the God, the throne of God in heaven, thou is said, I want to be there. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, Amen hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, something might be said. Somebody say, this world is not my home. I'm just a cousin. And if you can my home, I'm not that we die. Destroy you, yes. but there was a hedge. 
that sit around you. Amen. Amen. God said, don't you consider myself a Jew? He said, if you don't take away all what you've ever given, you will cause it to the face. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, Amen. Hallelujah. We must look back to this old servant that gone by. One thing will not touch his life. Two blows all. In all two reflection, he did not give up. So today, sometimes we lost plenty of things. But is the joy of it? Young man, it is the joy of your faith. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. Well, stick to Jesus. Call upon the Lord, amen. amen. Because we are there no way here. We are to make a way for you. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. Because why? My hope is built on nothing
in that name. And I can believe them. And Jesus said, He will give us rest. Our sister here labor. And now it's our time for rest. Somebody say, No, my labor task is over. We thank God. She ran the race. Oh, yes. But the power say I kept the faith. Oh, and there they come for me someday a crop. Yes. Oh. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh. We call us to whatever faith we are in. Yes. So God. Yes. We feel your fear. Oh. And love your gratitude. Take the eye of the creature. Put the eye of the creator. The creator. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah. Yeah. We should be able to walk and be dwell in a clean church. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Say all my ways to meditate upon my God here tonight. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. I say amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I am encouraging brothers and sisters. We are all looking one day. It may be a
your bed and I'm going to bring like this. You are going to run and never wear me. You are going to walk and never pay. Yes. Let's not give up the name. I am telling you, brother, to yes. what circumstance you are going to. Yes. Whatever your trial may be. Yes. Whatever burden my Jesus be my burden. Yes. He rolled it in the sea. Tell me nobody to remember anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So when the devil come and want to entangle me, I say, no, you got no power over me. Amen. 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 So sometimes when we look at one, men say we are prophet, you say, I said, no, if it be my will, my God, give me into your hand and put to me some death. But if it's not, I am free. Because Jesus tell me, whom the Son set free, whom the Son set free, I said, whom the Son set free. So brethren, we are free indeed. May God bless to us. May God keep us. Especially those of them, you know, say. And I always said, you know, we have been our bones from the Mesopotamia era. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And all our bones come from Leeward. Yeah. And there's something when the study, you know, he will bless us. You know, and I feel it now and then we follow our screen. Yeah. That is from our good favor and country. But well, thank God. And I pray, by the way, that you know this funeral service that we come. Yes. And we attend there. And to know the life they live. Yes. And the death they die. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 You know, you a good life. Yes. Pleasing to God. Yes. Yes. Because we know exactly they're not in torment, but they are just sleeping. Yes. Yes. Waiting for the final morning. Yes. When we shall hear. Oh, me blessed. My father, here is a hope, be blessed for me. So shall we meet you in the morning when the Savior is coming back.
grace who did send your son, your Savior Jesus Christ to bring light to mortality to mankind. He most humble and heartily give the thanks for this, the death of our dear sister. Today you have destroyed death and by your glorious resurrection you open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We bless you. Neither death nor life, nor things present, nor things to come, shall be able to separate us from the Lord, which is Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. 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 To all our ones, the prayer of comfort to you who all who mourn. Almighty God, Father of all mercy, and the giver of all comfort, Deal graciously, we pray thee, with these thy family son. Now who mourn this last of their dear beloved mother, sister, friends, family, relatives, that they may know the consideration of your Lord. Manifest to them thy presence, O God, uphold them by thy power, and guide them by thy spirit. Grant that they be steadfast faith and which hope hopes to enter into your rest of your resurrection and life to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, with whom do live the spirit of them that departed hence in the Lord, we praise thy holy name, for this thy servant, Philistine, has had finished her course and have kept the faith Accept now our special thanks to deeper our sister here who departed as we come in here in hope of thy gracious keeping. We bless thee. For all her sickness now and sorrows is ending. Death itself is past, and now she entered into your rest that we made it for all thy people. Grant that we, with her, and with all those who rest in Jesus, may true faith inherit eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Depart to a Christian soul out of this moment. In the name of God the Father, who created you. In the name of Jesus Christ, who redeemed you. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, who sanctify you. May your rest this day be in peace and your dwelling place in paradise before the Pandai journey, O Christian soul. As we pray, O oh Father, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily prayer. And as we forgive those that trespass us, and lead us not into temptation, but in the us of our now, to him who is able to keep you from falling and to prevent you without blemish before the present and the holy, goes glory be to thee, the Savior through Jesus Christ. Now may the God of peace who brought again Jesus from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of eternal covenant, equip you with every good gift that you may do his will, walking in you with his pleasing in his sight. This we ask through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. When a peace like
up. Where do you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the next door. Yes. Solomon, come here. Yes, yes. We are coming to the end of our stream. So we will be closing our broadcast. That is, it's a very overcast weather. And thanks a lot for viewing. We are going to the line now. So that was the final service. Yeah, no, sir. Yeah, no, sir. Let's do the pizza. Let's do the pizza. So thanks a lot for viewing, we are going to close the broadcast now.